Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. My name is Skip Sayer. I'm the Chief of Sales and Marketing for Laguna Development Corporation. Uh, and today we're officially announcing the grand opening of our very first Laguna Burger restaurant. Uh, this is a new fast casual concept that uh, Jorge Brazil, who I'll introduce in a second, and a lot of other food and beverage professionals have put together after a tremendous amount of research. Uh, we went to uh, more than 50 hamburger places in Dallas, Denver, and Los Angeles to uh, figure out what would work best here in Albuquerque. And then I didn't need a hamburger for six months, but it was, it was good. Uh, this is, uh, uh, brings to fruition uh, something that uh, Jerry Smith, again, I will introduce Jerry in a minute, uh, have been working on for well over a decade. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Earl Carrasco, our former chief of facilities who retired uh, earlier this year, uh, was challenged to come up with a, a world famous product or service that we could tout uh, from Laguna Development and Jerry put that challenge forward. Earl met that with the founding of the first Laguna Burger, which was a small hamburger stand that many of you are probably familiar with adjacent to our convenience store out in the village of Laguna. Uh, a few years later, we opened a similar uh, outlet with some new construction uh, when we attached a Laguna Burger next to our convenience store uh, right across the uh, interstate from Route 66 Casino Hotel uh, at exit 140. Uh, both of those outlets, restaurants, have been phenomenally successful now for several years. That got us to thinking, what can we do to uh, take this brand further? It seems to have a tremendous amount of power and popularity, and then you get a lot of folks that have been saying, uh, when are you gonna bring this thing to Albuquerque so we don't have to go out to the Pueblo to get it? So uh, again, a concept we've been working on for a couple of years, did a lot of research, uh, and I think the food and beverage folks did a spectacular job on bringing this together. And then I think you'll find out in a few minutes, we're gonna do some official opening ceremonies here. And then of course, we'll invite you all to join us for lunch. We have a brand new staff, a mixture of veterans and new folks who have been practicing uh, all week long to make sure that they uh, provide you with the best experience that's possible. Uh, our executive chef for Laguna Development Corporation, Jills, has been overseeing this entire thing and I think you'll find that as uh, all of our restaurants are known for, a tremendous amount of quality uh, and value in terms of the food uh, that we serve. And Laguna Burger is certainly part of that tradition. Uh, so here we are today, uh, getting ready for our grand opening, which is officially to the public tomorrow. We've had people banging on the door all day long, uh, trying to get in here, uh, seeing that something is uh, going on, and we're, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, we certainly look forward to welcoming the public tomorrow. A couple of folks here that have been part of Laguna Development for a long time uh, and have brought this all together. Uh, I mentioned Jerry Smith. Jerry is the president and chief executive officer of Laguna Development Corporation. He helped found the company uh, and has helped, uh, been a very much a, a major part of building the company to where it is today. Jerry Smith. Uh, in our corporate officer category, we have our uh, legal counsel and our chief of government relations, another longtime LDC person and another member of the Pueblo of Laguna, Ms. Kathy Garaspi. And Jorge has been with the company a, a little lo longer than I have, more than 10 years. Uh, he's our chief of food and beverage. Uh, for this particular event, he is the new managing partner of Fuego Enterprises, which is the new subsidiary company that we have formed uh, to operate Laguna Burger and our other franchise and restaurant outlets outside of the Pueblo or outside of the casino properties that we currently own and operate. Jorge is in Brazil. The main purpose for this was to uh, not only uh, provide some exposure for us, and I would be uh, insincere if I said otherwise, and we appreciate the support of the media, uh, but we really wanted to uh, let folks that are influencers around town, uh, folks like you, 
come in and try the product. Uh, the world famous Laguna Burger has been has received many awards. Uh, we won the New Mexico State Fair Green Chili Cheeseburger Contest in 2016. Albuquerque, the magazine has named it uh, the, the uh, best green chili cheeseburger in Albuquerque. Uh, Frank Palmieri uh, is the president and CEO of Magnum Advertising from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Frank worked with us on the new ad campaign and the new logo for Laguna Burger. And Frank told me at lunch today, Skip, this is the best I've ever had. So thank you, Frank. So let's get, the, let's get official here. First, I'd like to bring up the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, Mr. Ted Pedro. Come on up, Ted. And Ted has a presentation from the American Indian Chamber of Commerce of New Mexico uh, to Mr. Smith. Thank you, Skip, and congratulations, Jerry. Miss um, Kathy, Kathy Gorospi and Jorge. Uh, we're very excited to be here today to honor the Laguna Development Corporation <coughs> with their opening of their Laguna Burger here in Albuquerque. We're excited and we're looking forward to walking across the street and having our burgers closer. <laughs> we're gonna drive it to Real Perco to have our lunch. So on behalf of the American Indian Chamber of Commerce, we'd like to present this small token of our appreciation and we'll be hosting a ribbon cutting right after the presentation this morning. Gary? We're also very pleased to have with us today representatives from the Hispano Chamber of Commerce of New Mexico. Uh, with us is the executive director of that organization, Ernie DeBaca. And also, and to make the next presentation, is the director of member engagement for the Hispano Chamber, Mr. Luis Hernandez. Come on up, Luis. Thank you, Skip. Uh, I am uh, excited to be here with you guys. Uh, I think that we may have to move our Albuquerque Hispano Chamber offices uh, to coexist uh, with Ted here at the uh, American Indian Chamber of Commerce so that we can uh, have access to Laguna Burger directly across the street. So we'll get to work on that. But uh, uh, on behalf of the uh, uh, Board of Directors of the Albuquerque Hispano Chamber of Commerce, uh, uh, we uh, hereby present this certificate to Laguna Burger. Uh, in commemoration of your ribbon cutting uh, ceremony grand opening here. Uh, we wish you continued success here at this location. Uh, we are very grateful uh, for the economic growth and development that uh, you are bringing to the Albuquerque market. And uh, we look forward to serving you and helping this organization grow however you see fit. Welcome to the family. And oh, I, I do want to mention before we get on to the official, I didn't see him over there on the side. Uh, our partner in this whole endeavor uh, has led the vision that the uh, Indian Pueblo Cultural Center and their 19 Pueblo owners have had to build a new, vital, energetic, commercial development right smack here in the North Valley, uh, the Sawmill District. Uh, and he's the president and CEO of the Cultural Center, Mr. Mike Canfield's with us today. Let's cut some ribbon. I'll let Ted and Luis, who are the experts in this, uh, take over from here. And then uh, we will be serving lunch, uh, and so the full menu is available. Uh, we got a lot of folks, so be sure and be patient, uh, but you're welcome to uh, line up and you guys can start placing your orders. We'll get this, get this party started. Again, thank you all very much for coming. Grand opening tomorrow at 11 a.m., thanks. Okay, so we like to get loud and proud. We want everybody all the way to Laguna, to the top of the San Diego Mountains, hear the excitement of what's happening here today. So we're gonna do a countdown and I need all of you to count down with us. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one.
Hi folks, this is Marty Watts with ProView Network, and we're here at the famous Laguna Burger. It's grand opening day, and I've got the president of Laguna Development of the Laguna Tribe, Jerry Smith. Jerry, tell us why this is a great burger. The great burger comes from its origin uh, in Pueblo community. The Pueblos have what's called feast days. And one of the highlights of that feast day, if you're a partaker in the event, is everybody has to have a feast burger. So we took that idea and we expanded it out to develop this product so that you don't have to wait once a year for a feast burger, you can have it every day. And so we originated in Laguna. We have stores in Laguna that produce this product and, and we sell it commercially. And so this is our first off-reservation uh, venue by which we'll be selling this burger. Now, what's in that special recipe on the burger? That, that well, that's a, that's a hidden secret. One of my, uh, one of my young employees, uh, a, couple of, a couple of months ago, he worked at one of our venues, and I walked up to him and said, can you tell me what's in the Laguna Burger? He says, it's a secret. Well, you know, this is the first location of how many in Albuquerque? This is the first in Albuquerque. Uh, we have plans to look at other potential properties or sites, as well as in the state of New Mexico. But, you know, we have to develop this concept first, prove it out, and then we'll look at expanding it. You know, what makes this incredible, I grew up here in Albuquerque, and the Native American tribe, the Laguna tribe, they've done so much for this community. Look at all the people you've hired, all the, what you've done to this economy, it's unbelievable. Well, thank you very much. You know, we are a part of this community. We are a part of this country. We've been here for hundreds of years. And so it's, it's just doing what's best for our community. As my dad said, your ancestors met us at the boat. That's right. Or it's, it, we, we met you in the valley. That's right, the North yeah, the Valley. North, yeah, North Valley. Well, it's, it's great to have you. This is unbelievable. I think this is going to be one of the greatest hangouts. And hopefully, if you guys get involved with ProView, we're going to tell every high school kid after every ball game to come in here and have a Laguna Burger. Sure, and we, we, we are a major sponsor of NMAA uh, right. programs, Laguna Development Corporation. Uh, now we have a product by which to highlight that sponsorship. Oh, yeah. So you may be seeing... Uh, uh, Laguna Burger is a major sponsor of NMA activities. Yeah, and, and ProView, we do 160 basketball games. We do all the sports, so th what a great partnership. Oh, thank you. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Marty with ProView Network. I've got Ryan Western, Westerman, right? Yes. And he's basically in charge of these franchises and all these new openings. Yes, that's right. Um, I take care of all the Laguna Burger outlets. I uh, have been for a few years now, and uh, I was lucky enough to be partnered up to open this new location here in Albuquerque. You know, this is incredible. This is what, the first of what, five stores? Uh, yes, if all the locations that we sell, this is our fifth one. And uh, we sell, we have two other locations at exit 140 and exit um, 114. Uh, those are inside pit stops, which are uh, some retail and fuel locations too. And we also sell them at the uh, marketplace out at Exit 108, the Dancing Hill Casino, and Route 66 Casino in their restaurant there at Main Street. So the future locations, are you all going to have Kiva fireplaces like this one? Well, uh, we may. It may become part of everything that we do. Uh, we definitely wanted a patio. We thought that was very important. We think all of our locations going forward, even the, the ones at the pit stops, have patios. So, um, you know, we can't beat the New Mexico weather. You know, it's always, you know, the sun is always shining, so we wanted to take advantage of it. Um, so uh, we definitely want a communal area, a place to not only eat, but to also come after work and maybe have a beverage and relax and, and enjoy yourself. And enjoy so Burger. In your opinion, what makes this the greatest hamburger in New Mexico? Well, it's it's a little bit of everything. It's our our chili blend. It's our meat grind. It's our uh, and it, it's our passion that the employees put into it while they're cooking it. So and it it comes down to technique and just uh, being proud of the product. So. Well, Ryan, thank you for being part of ProView Network. We sure want to partner with you. We have all these basketball games, all these sporting events. We want every kid in town, this is a place to hang out after a ball game. That would be great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a great day. Hi, everybody. This is Marty Watts with ProView Network. We're at the famous Laguna Burger. I've got the, the head of the Indian Chamber of Commerce, Theodore Pedro. I've got Christina Silversmith, mm -hmm. correct? And they played a big part in promoting this. Tell us what's your involvement with this Laguna Burger. 
Good afternoon, and thank you for having the interview with me. We're part of the American Indian Chamber, and they've asked us to do the ribbon cutting and help promote the location, new location here. Our officers are located across the street, so it makes it real convenient for us to partake and come over here and have our lunches. So we're looking forward to this operation. You know what's going to happen? A lot of people are going to be buying real estate or renting space from your truck from the Indian Culture Center because they all want to be around this burger, right? Of course, of course, yes. It has been so close and Laguna Burger, it's so big and so juicy. I, I wouldn't doubt that they're going to want to start looking for being tenants over here. What do you, th what do you, what do you like about the Laguna Burger? What makes it so good? It's very different. It's um, it's all original beef. It's ha um, hand pressed, and it, it just has a different flavor to it. it it's more, reminds me more of being at home on the reservation. I want to tell everybody, the public. Proview Network is a proud member of the Indian Chamber of Commerce because our president Steve Davis is part of the Choctaw Indian Tribe, yes. and and we are so proud to be part of. You, and we're going to be trying to do more events with the Chamber of Commerce, and that's going to be a great partnership. It will. We were looking forward to working with Proview.